Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for just supporting my channel, you know, dropping comments and, you know, tell me how you feel about your things and you're just sharing, which is so beautiful. I greatly appreciate that. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been, you know, watching my videos for a while, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell if you haven't already. And so you will be able to know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you just up tell me about your impact and gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos just gave you good vibes or just good information that you think that somebody truly needs to hear at that point, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share as well on your social media favorites, wherever you see fit. So once again, thank you so much for showing love and support towards me and the channel, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Today, I'm listening to this beautiful music. It's like Awaken Your Spirit, Extremely Powerful. Complete your chakra activate activation, and I will post that link in the description box below and turn it up a little bit so y'all can be able to hear it. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101, when bad memories keep resurfacing. Oh my goodness, I know y'all know about that way too well. I know I do. I can be sitting up here cleaning up and, you know, it could be a certain scent or it could be a certain, like, movie or even a certain book or whatever that can resurface bad memories that you truly don't want to think about anymore. And I had to look that up today. You know, I said, why does these things keep happening? I'm just so annoyed. Like, I think that's the reason why I've been getting annoyed lately. So, y'all, if y'all been, like, sending me stuff, of, you know I do apologize because I've been getting snippy with folks you know there's sometimes it's like if I have to constantly keep repeating myself like hey I'm busy doing this right now and you keep texting me that's going to be on the verge of you being blocked and I hate being that way I said I'm the sweetest person and I love when y'all send me stuff because I love sending my my extended family like um, different links to certain things that ask me questions about or different music that um that, you know, I feel like that, that helps ease me. I really love that. So I was just like, I'll, you know, if I'm friends with people on, you know, Messenger or even I need to start sending to my people that I'm connected to on my YouTube Messenger too as well um, and sending them those as well. So, and also, please, I'm, I'm being very polite. Don't text me at no four or five o'clock in the morning, especially three o'clock in the morning. That terrifies the mess out of me because anybody who texts you that late, you know, um, I feel like there's a death in the family. Somebody got killed. Somebody got shot. You know, I know sometimes there, you need somebody to talk to and get something off your chest. But I don't barely get sleep as it is. And I try to get my sleep as much as possible. And lately I've been telling y'all I don't feel good. So, you know, I try to be nice about it. But if I have to keep reminding, my, you, know, keep reminding you on that as well, that is going to verge on you being blocked. You know, sometimes I do, like, there's people that, that I have been on one-on-one -on -one with that I talk to at that time of night you know if i just so happen to roll over or whatever and you know if if it's something like a life or death situation like i mean there's times where you where you feel like you can't do it anymore are you ready to give up i understand that but if it's about a video or something like that you just so happen to see about mine please just wait until after nine o'clock in the morning that's all i ask <laughs> that's all i ask now, there are some people that you know I give a pass too because certain situations are very delicate right now so I give that a pass that is a different story but if you are texting me just to be texting me that is a good way to get get gone off on because especially you are uh, I'm not no I'm not no early morning person I already hate being up early in the morning but I try to give people passes but it's just like don't take advantage you know don't keep overstepping your boundaries like that that's all I ask you to do that's all I ask I love each and every one of y'all but I'm just letting that know now, especially if I tell you I'm busy with my daughter and you keep texting me, keep texting me. That's just going to make me look at you like I want to ignore your, your text messages. So I'm just putting that out there. But yeah, I'm just um, those memories. 
<laughs> those memories you know it could be anything from your childhood to an abusive relationship you know I'm gonna tell you a couple of things that they said you can do and I actually tried it and it does work um like if you need to be able to get through a grieving process of that situation that really you know puts you in a bad mood or puts you in a moody situation um you have to just look at it like to a point sometimes they said what's better for you to do is you keep remembering like every little detail about that situation until you do you know until you don't give it power anymore or you can replace it with something you know positive like change the scenario scenario of it or you just think about the outcome of the lesson of the situation that makes you keep reoccurring the situation like if you were cheated on or whatever or you were you know mentally and emotionally abused by you know a narcissistic person just think if you're not in that situation anymore just look at it like okay this did happen to me but guess what I learned and grow that I respect and love myself enough to know that won't ever happen to me again if I see these things happening I could be able to peg them and say oh no this is not a person I need to deal with oh no this is not a situation I'm going to allow myself to get into so when you can tell yourself that you have grown from this situation it is no longer affecting you you can be able to change the scenario of that bad memory because there would be certain things I was just cleaning up this morning and the next thing you know I felt this situation I'm like you know what why the heck does this come up to me because I forgot all about this situation why is it coming back you know and it's just like it gets so worrisome to me but you don't want to sit up here and try to push it off because they said when you push it off like that it'll come back at a later time and then I'll have more like a more um situation that will really upset you so it's like you have to you know find ways to keep yourself busy like I usually what I usually do during the day is you know if I'm not answering comments for my videos from the last previous night if I didn't do that from the night before it just depends because there's a lot of energy you have to put into these videos and I'd be extremely tired sometimes after the fact my third eye is open so bad my my head feels like it's gonna explode and it's been like that for the last three nights so you know if, like I said if anybody has texted me and I feel like I came off short with you that's the reason why because I was not feeling good on top of the weather change it's like so bipolar here in Georgia so, you know, there I, I keep myself very busy. I, I sing songs, especially, you know, when it comes to my dad. I always love to sing songs with him like I imagine myself being on stage. Or there's songs that I really love that, you know, I match my voice up with. Or there's something that I can relate to to certain songs. Or it's just something I, you know, I just love, you know, just to hear the song. Or I exercise, take a long nature walk. You know, just to clear my mind. Because they even say when you take longer walks, um... And you're, you're, you're just thinking about positive things. You have to be in the now, not worried about the future. Because when you worry about the future too much, that will put you in a bad mood. So it's just like when those things come up, try to make sure you keep yourself busy. You know, that's why I try to keep my days really busy. And then it's just like after my daughter gets out of school, you know, I try to spend as much time with her as possible. You know, because I like to, you know, spend time with my daughters and, um, even if my grandbaby decides to come over that day or my daughter comes with my grandbaby, spend time with them as well. So I just try to keep myself busy because if you got too much time on your hands, ugh, things will surface, you know, and it'll put you in a bad mood or, you know, you have to be able to turn it around so it doesn't put you in that, you know, that negative state. And you can be in a positive state and next, you know, that thing will resurface. So it's just basically telling you there's some things that you have to destroy, like put a nuke on on that feeling that it puts behind that memory because sometimes it's hard for memories to resurface just keep resurfacing because it's trying to teach you to let it go be able to let it go so when it does pop up again you're not giving that power you know it's just like okay I don't want to think about this anymore I'm done with it I'm not even affected by the situation no more I'm just like okay let it pass you know so you know you have to really do that with yourself so it's just like if you can trust a friend you know seek therapy some people say medicine I really don't condone with medicine unless it's something serious like if you're bipolar very manic depressive I, I am medic depressive but I choose not to put pills in my body because I used to suffer from being a pill addict myself back in the day so it's just like when I accidentally almost over the OD'd 
few time between Xanax and Percocets and stuff like that, you know, um, that was a very bad thing for me to do. And there was a lot of time I would self-medicate, you know, so when I came, moved down here to Georgia, it was harder to get access to that medicine because when I was living in the Midwest, all you had to do was go to a doctor and tell them your head hurt and they'll give you this, this, and this, this, and that. And I became addicted to it. So it's just like when I almost OD'd a couple of times to the point where I woke up and didn't remember certain things or there's times that, you know, my kids have found me to where I was dead and didn't even know it and they had to bring me back. That was a painful thing because I didn't want to, you know, have my kids see me like that. You know, and I actually felt me dying. Like I felt myself leaving my body because I can hear them telling, you know, my adopted dad and my stepmom on the phone, her face is blue. She's not breathing. Her heart is slowed down and stopped, you know, and I can feel myself leaving. So just putting my, my kids in that state, that was a wake up call for me. Like, no, your kids shouldn't see you like that. And it really hurt my heart to know that because I didn't even know I was doing it because I got a tattoo. So it was like I was trying to get rid of the pain and didn't realize I OD'd on myself. So it wasn't something I was trying to do on purpose at that time because I have tried to kill myself with pills before. Um, and it wasn't a pretty sight. It was just like, like I told y'all before, when doctors had told me there's no way in hell you should have even been living from the amount of pills that you ingested or not be brain damaged or a vegetable. I didn't. I just woke up with, you know, just feeling like I was on cloud line for the last, you know, for four or five days, but you know, nothing happened. I was just upset, but I knew there was a reason why I was still here. So when you go through situations like this, find yourself something healthy to do, you know, and they said the main thing, do not result in alcohol or drugs because that is a, a form of escape. And if you feel that way, you need to seek a physician. So, um, when you go through that, I've actually been able to cope with, you know, cope with, weed and alcohol after that high and that you know that tips and go away the problem's still there <laughs> so it's not helping it's not really helping i don't i don't fault nobody for that because you know with us being empaths i wouldn't be surprised if nobody has an addiction i would i would really be like bless you if you didn't have one so I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video and I hope this truly helps anybody who has like painful memories that keeps coming up that they really do still suffer from. But knowing you should not ever give your past memories any kind of, you know, power over you because that can really take over your, your mind and your heart. And you don't need to do that because it's like it's no longer affecting you so you shouldn't give that power so put it to rest. So much love to you and know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's somebody always out there praying for your better days. And to my post notification, I'm going to give out to Worst Nero, uh, Wenda Norum, and True, True Blue. And it's me again. Much love to you. And know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And I'm sending out up, up living, um, uplifting vibes, calming vibes, and loving vibes, especially who truly needs it. And I hope you are safe and responsible at everything you do. And I'll see you on my next video. Peace. Be wild.